Hello reception. Today's creativity task will be taught by me and you will need a mirror, some paper, a pencil and your imagination. I want you to think back yes to yesterday um, where I, when I read you the story of the colour monster and it was all about feelings and emotions. I'm going to be using that to help us with today's task. I also know that Miss Aqua has been reading the story of the tiger who came to tea. And this is one of the pictures from the story of the tiger who came to tea. It's one of my favourite books too. So I want you to have a look at this picture and see what's happening. It's the tiger at Sophie's front door. I want you to imagine that you are Sophie and you had a tiger at your front door. How might you feel? Let's take a moment. I then want you to use that expression to show it in your, on your face and in your mirror. So I think if I was Sophie, I might feel surprised. I'm gonna put my surprise face on. <gasps> and I'm gonna freeze. So that's my surprise face. How might you feel if you were Sophie and a tiger came to visit you? So some of you might be a little bit worried. Can you show me your worried face? <gasps> show it to yourself in your mirror. Sorry. Or you might be a bit nervous. So some of you, let's write some of these down, might be surprised or you might be worried or because you've never seen a tiger before you might be really excited so show me your excited faces <gasps> that's your excited face so these are some feeling words or emotional words that you might feel now once you've practiced some of those faces in your mirror, I want you to look at this picture. So this is a picture of when the tiger came and sat down with Sophie and mum to have some tea. And now let's look at mum's face. How do you think mum might be feeling? I think she looks a bit worried. She's not quite sure what the tiger will be doing. So can you show me all what really worried or anxious faces? I'm also going to write nervous down because she might be nervous. How might you feel if the tiger sat down at your table to have tea with you? Can you show me using your mirror? Okay. Sophie, you might be feeling like Sophie's feeling and she seems to look very happy at the moment and quite excited. And they're excited here as well at the thought of having a tiger in her house. And that's how you might feel. Or you might be really scared. Really. And scared's a bit different than nervous. Nervous is when you're not quite sure about something, but scared is that you're really frightened. No, I'm scared. Down here. You might be wondering, what's this got to do with our creativity? I'm going to tell you that in a moment. So, like I said, we are going to be focused on emotions and feelings and creating a picture or four pictures. So I'd like you to get your piece of paper like that and I want you to fold it in half very very neatly and carefully so it's tidy so the points or the corners meet if you can see just like that and then I want you to so you'll have a piece like that then I want you to fold it in half again again very neatly so the points meet and then once you've done that and you've opened it out you should have four sections one two three four i would like you to draw yourselves with a different emotion in each section 
So you might draw yourself with a happy face in this section. You might draw yourself with a sad face. This one might be an excited face. This might be a nervous face. I'm going to have a go doing this and I will show you what mine will look like in a moment. Once you have drawn your pictures, I'd like you to label the emotions and write the emotions underneath your picture. If you can think of more exciting words for your emotions, that would be even better. So there's an extra little challenge there for you. I'm going to do mine and then show you what it looks like in a moment. So I've done an example here of two faces on myself with different emotions. Can you identify what these emotions might be? So I've got myself looking happy. So I'm going to write happy underneath. And then I've got another emotion. What do you think that might be? It's me angry. So I'm going to write angry. If you can think of better words for happy, make sure you write them around your picture. So let's think. Can I think of a better word for happy? I know. Joyful. I'm going to write that joyful around my picture and you can think about three or four different words for the same that has the same meaning so can you think of another word for angry mm, that's a tricky one let's think so another word for angry could be furious and i could write that down furious don't worry about spellings just use your sounds to write down the words but remember i want you to do four different emotions on your piece of paper and label the emotions fantastic i look forward to seeing your great work and if you want to do an, if you want to do something extra if you color them in and make them look beautiful that would also be wonderful i look forward to seeing them guys good luck